5.2, so table 5 below, it shows the labor force characteristics of South Africa for the fourth quarter of 2017. So use table 5 above to answer the questions that follow. 5.2.1, explain the meaning of the term unemployed within the context of the table above. Unemployed, um, this is a person who is able and willing to work, but they can't find work. So they're able and willing, but they just can't find work. That is the majority of South Africans. We've got an extremely high level of unemployment. The most recent percentage was 33. So a third of South Africans who are able and willing to work can't find jobs. 5.2.2, determine the value of X. Here's X. But X had no value, okay? They, you were too good for them. Okay, just, just remember that. They treated you badly. They were toxic. You want the problem, okay? Determine the value of X, the number of people employed in Pumalanga employed in Mpumalanga. So the total is 1748. The number that were unemployed is 506. So if, if we find the difference between 1748 and 506, that is going to be what X is. Uh, and that's going to be 1242. You know, in dubs, they say, they say 40. I, l I love that. 42. Yeah, but you know, here in Joburg, you know, people think they, they, they too fancy, you know, People have a lot of money in Joburg. So they say, they say 40, you know, Queen's English. I like to say 40. 1,242. Okay, let's, let's continue. 5.2.3. Name one data collection instrument that could be used to collect the data above. And you could have used the questionnaire, a survey, a population census, because I mean, all nine provinces are here. Document analysis, you could have interviewed some peeps, whatever. 5.2.4, calculate the percentage of people in the Western Cape and Iveskop. Away, away, horse, horse. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, okay? Goon School is not affiliated with any gangs, okay? I'm not a 26 or a 28, but I can... You know, why don't we form our own numbers, gang? But for a good purpose, to improve our maths mark, Okay. No, okay, you were 27, you were 28, you were 26. Me, I am a pie. <laughs> 3, 1, 4. What, what should we call our gang, guys? <laughs> Let's, I don't know. Let's call our gang uh, Box and Whiskers. Okay, <laughs> why don't we call our gang Quintile 2? We're the median, the, the median gang. The mode gang, because there's there's many of us, you know. <laughs> Ter terrible jokes, really. You're, you're probably like prepping for your test and I'm making all these horrendous jokes. Sorry. Hashtag sorry. Let's continue. But calculate the percentage of people uh, in the Western Cape, and Nivescarp, who are not economically active, NEA. Um, instead of saying, okay, look, I'm broke. I'm, from now on, I'm going to say NEA. I'm not economically active. <laughs> NEA, man, that's crazy. Um... That amount is going to be 1412 over the total labor force, which is 4507. And we're going to multiply that by 100. So 1412 over 4507. And that's in thousands. So you can just add the zeros if you want. It doesn't really change anything, to be honest. Well, okay, look, in the context of this question, it doesn't. Uh, and we just multiply that by 100. But look, just, just remember your thousands. Just in this question, it doesn't matter whether you add the zeros or you don't. I mean, they just cancel each other out. And times 100, um, that's going to be 31,329%. 5.2.5, write down the ratio of employed people to unemployed people in South Africa in the form dot 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 is to 1. So we got to find that dot dot dot, that ellipsis. And Afrikaans does an ellipse. Yeah, yeah. I can, I can lick Afrikaans praat me, bro. My cops accent. Away. Ku sister. You know, there's a difference between ku sisters and cook sisters. Yeah, yeah, knowledge. You know, if you know the difference, please comment below. Like, how would you define the difference between cool sisters and cook sisters? Okay, look, look, let's focus. 5.2.5. This video is getting unnecessarily long. So it's just this, let's change uh, colors. It's that 16172 to the 5882. So in other words, 16172000 equals 5... Eight eight two zero zero zero. Okay. Sorry, I should not have used an equal sign there. Uh, but we need, or on the right hand side, we need a one. So we divide both sides by five million eight hundred eighty-two thousand, uh, and therefore on the left hand side we get two comma seven four nine four. Five point two point six. Determine the probability as a decimal 
of randomly selecting a person in the free state who is not economically active. A nice little probability question here. So in the free state, we factor in this 697 over the total population, and that's literally it. So 6, 697 over 1893. Um, look, you can add your zeros, but it, it doesn't make a difference. You're still going to get the same answer of 0, 368 and leave your answer as a decimal okay no multiplying by 100 to get it as a percentage that was the instruction okay thanks for watching love you bye